So as we move from thermochemistry into thermodynamics, the first thing we're going to want to talk about is entropy. The symbol for entropy is S. I have no idea why. Don't ask. Got no clue. Um, entropy is basically chaos or disorder or randomness. It's how randomly distributed something or how disordered it is. Um, for instance, if I toss a bunch of bricks off a truck, what do you think? They're going to end up in a pile or are they going to end up in a random sort of mess? Disorder is always more probable than order. Just think about your room at home, for instance. Or some of the desks in my science office. Not mine, of course. Um, if you look at an ice cube, solids tend to be nice crystal organized structures, so they have very little entropy, whereas liquids like water tend to be a little more randomly set up, so they have more entropy. And even more than that, if you had a gas, that would have more entropy. So if we're comparing solids and liquids and aqueous and gases, solids have the least entropy. They're the most ordered. Gases have the most entropy. They're the most disordered. And increasing temperature increases entropy. You can imagine if we heat things up and give them more kinetic energy, they tend to move around faster in a sort of more disordered state. There's an actual law of entropy. Says so, right? You've got to bail entropy. It's the law. Basically, it just says that all systems have a tendency to move toward more disorder. Okay? Everything is going to tend toward disorder. Everything in the universe. Okay? From your, your bedroom to dropping a deck of cards. It's not going to fall in a pile. It's going to spread out. Um, so if we look at a couple of equations, let's see if we can predict the change in energy. Uh, not energy. Entropy. Do we think that the entropy of this reaction is increasing or decreasing? Well, what you want to do is you want to only look at the, the moles of gas on both sides. On this side, we have 1 plus 3. We have 4 moles of gas over here and 2 moles of gas over there. Entropy is decreasing. So we say that delta S for this reaction is going to be negative. Okay. So if entropy were the only thing that mattered, this reaction wouldn't take place. Uh, later we'll see that both entropy and enthalpy matter, and we put them together with something called free energy. So how about this one? This is a liquid, so we'll just kind of ignore it. 3 moles of gas to 5 moles of gas. So in this case, the entropy is increasing. So we'd say delta S for this is positive. So if the only thing that mattered here were entropy, this reaction would take place. Um, and then we can actually, if we want to, this is this formula might look a little familiar. It's the same kind of formula we use for the heats of formation, where we said delta H was the heat sum of the heats of formation of the products minus the sum of the heats of formation of the reactants. So here it's the same thing. The change in entropy of your reaction is the sum of all the entropies of the products minus the sum of all the entropies of the reactants. So add all the products and subtract all the reactants. Okay, Your units of entropy are joules per mole Kelvin or kilojoules per mole Kelvin. Um, they're usually given in joules per mole Kelvin. So how about if we try an actual equation? Okay, Let's see if we can find the change in entropy for this reaction. Now again, you, you have a whole table of delta of S's, so um, I, I won't show them to you here, but I'm going to give you a whole packet of constants, so you'll have a table of entropies. So what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to take all my products and add them together. So I'm going to take barium ion, and if you look up, its entropy is 9.6, okay, plus 2 times chloride, its entropy is 56.5 plus the entropy for water, which is 69.9, plus the entropy for CO2, which is 213.6. Notice it's kind of big because it's a gas. And then minus the entropy for barium carbonate, so uh, minus 112.1, okay? Minus 2 times H plus 
and everything is compared to h plus which is the given the value 0 minus 2 times chloride so that, again that's 56.5 so you'll notice that we added all the products and we're subtracting all the reactants and when we do that out we get 181 joules per kelvin notice that the moles is gone because we multiplied by the number of moles notice that for this reaction delta s is positive does that make sense? well we have no gas on this side and we've got one mole of gas on that side so we would have predicted that it would be positive so that's really that's all there is to entropy disorder and how you, you can predict it and you can calculate it